Hello, I am Fast Technical, and welcomes you. Do you want to make games with Android? But you don't know how to do that. How to learn Java programming language. And you don't know which is the best engine for making games in Android. Don't worry, in this video we will learn the Java programming language. And I will tell you which is the best gaming engine for making games on Android. Before that, make sure that you have subscribed to our channel, and press the bell icon, to never miss any video. Now let's move on. If you don't know, which is the best game engine for Android? I will suggest you, a very good and stable game engine. Its magic engine is the best engine for making games in your Android device. More than 100 Kelvins people are using this engine for making 3D and 2D games. This engine is professional and absolutely free of cost. And you no need to pay anything for using this engine, it's absolutely free. It contains all the features of Unity 4. It has advanced PBR graphics. You can convert your project into APK very easily. You can edit the terrain and add high pixel textures to your objects. It's very easy and simple to make terrain, and lands, lakes, and forests. Its magic engine contains three scripting languages. First is the visual scripting which can be used by anyone who don't know about coding. And my channel also contains the tutorials of its magic visual scripting. Second is the magic script which is also a very easy and powerful language. Lastly there is Java programming language, which we are going to learn in this video. You will not find any engine in compare of its magic engine. Now, let's make our first project in its magic engine. First download its magic engine from Play Store, and open it. You will see many things at the home page. If you don't understand what is the use of it, don't worry, my channel contains the video of explaining all interface of the engine, please watch that also. Now click on the new project button, at the top right corner. You will see some example projects, made with its magic engine. Simply select the empty project, because we are starting from the basics. Now, name your project, as your choice. For example, my game, the simple game, GTA, Free Fire, or anything you want. After that, click on do magic button. Yeah. You have created your first project. Click the file button, given in the sidebar which will show us all files in our project. There are some files given by default. Let's create a file for storing all scripts. Long press the file, new, folder, name it as your choice. Save, now, create a script of Java in that file. Click New, Script, Java, name it as your choice. Save, now we have created, a script of Java. Wait, do you know what is Java? Java is a high-level, modern programming language designed in the early 1990s by Sun Microsystems, and currently owned by Oracle. Java is platform-independent, which means that you only need to write the program once to be able to run it on a number of different platforms. Java is portable, robust, and dynamic, with the ability to fit the needs of virtually any type of application. Now let's open our Java file. You will see this interface. Click again to Java file. Now our script has opened. A package can be defined as a group made up of similar types of classes, along with sub-packages. The import keyword is simply used to import a package, class, or interface. Now, what is the class? In Java, every line of code that can actually run, needs to be inside a class. This is the class, of our script. Every code, should be inside of it. This are the methods in our class. Public void start method, public void repeat method, public void disable repeat method. Start method runs only one time when the game starts. Here, object rotates one time at starting and stop. Because of start method, repeat method runs on every frame throughout the game. 
object is rotating but not stopping. Because of repeat method. We will see disable repeat method in next tutorial. Now let's test the methods. By simple keyword. Console.log, bracket open, bracket close, semicolon. Console.log is used to show a message in the console. By using this keyword we can show message and we can check that our script is working or not. Let's put a message in this keyword. Remember that, whenever you will use this keyword, C of console should be capital, because Java is a case-sensitive language. Java think that console and console are different. And your message should be between quotation marks. And kindy put semicolon after bracket close. Remember the process and do it in the script, like this. Let's add some new message. Now, click on editor tab at the top. You will come out from the script. Now create a new object, which will hold our script. An empty object? Now click this, and name our object as your choice. Now click on add component button. Java components, and this is our script which we have created. Click on it. This is the console tab. Click on it. You can see our message popped up. Now you can make your own keyword by this procedure. If we will put this keyword in repeat method, then the message will pop up every frame. Let's see. Now let's move forward. Variables. Variables store data for processing. A variable is given a name or identifier, such as area, age, height, and the like. The name uniquely identifies each variable. Now let's see some types of variables. Int. For integers, whole numbers, such as 123 and minus 456 double. double. For floating point or real numbers with optional decimal points and fractional part, such as 3.1416, minus 55.66. String, for text such as, hello, or, good morning. Text strings are enclosed within double quotes. This is the, int, variable. This is the, double, variable. This is the, string, variable. It is important to note that, a variable is associated with a type, and is only capable of storing values of that particular type only. For example, an int variable can store integer values only, such as 123, but it cannot store real numbers, such as 12.34, or texts, such as, hello. Now let's create some variables in our script. For creating a variable you should follow the steps. First type the variable type. For example, string, then name it as your choice. For example, name, and after that put a semicolon. You have to create the variables in the class, but before start method. S of string should be capital. Now let's create int and double also.
Now let's add values to our variables in start method. For adding value, you have to type like this. and value of string should be in between quotation marks. Whenever a value come between quotation marks, it becomes the string. Now, let's print the variables in the console. If you want to print a variable you no need to put quotation marks. We can only print a string in the console. We cannot print int, double or other variables. We have print name string now, but we cannot print the age in console. But wait, if we add a string into an int variable then the answer will be string only. For example, if we add string name jack, in int age, 18, then the answer will be jack 18. And jack 18 is a string because it contains alphabets. Now, let's add int variable to our string variable, but, with some extra text. Always remember, semicolon is used for making the code compile. So whenever your code is completed, add and erase the semicolon. Message is printed successfully, but it doesn't contain space. Let's add some space between it. Simply add space to this text. But don't forget to reset semicolon. Yeah, it's working now. That's all for today, we will continue this tutorial in next video. Hope you all understood all things. If you have any problem then comment me below. And you can join our discord server also, we daily helps people in the discord server, link is in description. And if you haven't liked the video then please like it, share it with your friends and relatives. I will see you in the next tutorial, till then. Bye bye.